of the heart, a universally recognized symbol of love, kindness and compassion. The heart is one of the hardest working organs in your body. After all, it is responsible for pumping blood throughout a vast array of blood vessels spanning 100,000 kilometers in total. All those vessels laid end to end will encircle the earth 2.5 times, all to be done in a heartbeat. This powerful muscular organ, approximately the size of your fist, is usually drawn symmetrically like this. In reality, your heart is asymmetrical, with the left side being more muscular than the right, for reasons that we will explore later on. The heart is located in the middle of your chest, but with a slight tilt to the left because of the bigger left side. In an anatomically correct model of the human heart, the vertical septum separates the right side and the left side. Because we are looking at the heart from the front, the left side is here and the right side is here. The right side is separated into the right atrium and the right ventricle by the tricuspid valve. The left side is also separated into the left atrium and the left ventricle by the bicuspid valve. We call each section, so the atriums and the ventricles, a chamber. The blood doesn't stay long in the chambers. Deoxygenated blood returning to your heart never stays there longer than half a beat. It is pumped into your lungs to become oxygenated again. The right atrium is connected to two large veins. The superior vena cava for deoxygenated blood coming from the upper parts of your body and the inferior vena cava for deoxygenated blood from lower parts of your body. The right ventricle is directly connected to your lungs by the pulmonary artery with a pulmonary valve acting as a floodgate. Your left atrium is also directly connected to your lungs, but by pulmonary veins. The left ventricle is connected to the largest artery in your body, the aorta, separated by the aortic valve. The aorta is massive. It branches out from the heart and even extends to the kidneys and bladder. Because the left side pumps out into the aorta, it has to be more muscular. It is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood throughout your whole body. The left lobe of your lung is also smaller to make room for the larger left side of the heart. Isn't it a wonder how well all the organs in your body get along? Our hearts are made of three incredible layers of muscle. The insides of the chains and the valves are covered by a thin, smooth, muscular wall called the endocardium. The bulk of your heart muscle is made of a much thicker myocardium. All this is covered by the pericardium, which serves to protect the overall muscular structure that is your heart. So next time someone speaks of a melting or broken heart, be sure to remind them of the hardy structure of the strong muscular organ the four chambers and the various valves that control and regulate blood flow. Can you remember the different parts of the heart? Go on, give it a go. Pause the video and try to match up the labels to the parts of the heart. Did you get it right? To learn more about how the heart works, watch this video. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.